Won't you come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight You gon' want a dog being nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'ma let it breathe just a little Give it to you strong heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike You better just run for your life What's up everyone, welcome to a new video. Hopefully that intro is dope. If it wasn't, then we didn't do a good job out here today because we're just starting a dope cinematic B-roll where my girlfriend is running and hopefully we'll get something cool. This is my current setup. I'm rocking, got a V-mount battery back here. If you guys want a video on this, just let me know. Um, and I got a Rokinon 50 millimeter cine lens. So this thing's hard as shit to nail focus, but we're out here, we're gonna have fun. We have about an hour of sunlight left, so hopefully we get something dope, but I'm gonna try to play around with a lot of in-camera transitions. So let's do it. When you want to shoot cinematic b-roll, you kind of just have to get creative and look at what you have. So we're in downtown Austin right now and we're kind of looking for a path. This is dirt right here, but I'm looking for like something that's like solid. So we're going to go up there and then I'm going to do a lot of running stuff with this lens and then hopefully switch out to a smaller lens. This will actually be like a dope little area that we can do. So I'm going to have you do high knees like down and then high knees back as well. Like the whole length of it? Yes. All right, stop and then take off. Stop on the rock, and then take off. All right, quick pause, because I wanna give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What exactly is Skillshare there? Well, it's an online learning community where you can learn just about anything and everything to fuel your curiosity and creativity. I've been diving into Skillshare and it has a ton to offer. You can check out workshops, you can browse their videos revolving around any creative topic of your choosing. It's honestly really great and at less than $10 a month, it's a no brainer. Since I'm stuck at home quite a bit, I use Skillshare to help me get out of creative ruts or honestly to gather ideas for future shoots. For example, I just checked out this video of how to create a cinematic travel video from a DC right before shooting this running shoot and it actually helped me quite a bit. You should check it out because it has some pro tips in there. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below will actually get two free months of Skillshare. It's best to diversify your skill set because when you do that, you will become a better filmmaker, a photographer, graphic designer, all around. So definitely check out Skillshare because they are awesome. Also, let's get back to this video. You'll have to let me know what you think about it because this is a completely new style of video for me and honestly, I like it. It's cool because you can see the behind the scenes stuff of how I shoot, what goes on in my brain, and hopefully by the end we can talk about some editing tips when I was editing this together. So let's jump back on to the clip. So this time we're just kind of doing an in-camera transition where I'm using the trees as like a way to frame block or block the camera. So then when it transitions, you can easily transition between clips. So I'm probably gonna do this like three or four times sequentially. So it's like back to back. So we'll see if it looks cool, but right now I'm getting this shot. So, all right, and nailing focus. Three, two, one, go. So this lens is not a good lens to like sprint with or run with because like, it's a huge lens and it's so close. So it's not really gonna work the best, but I just wanna see if I can get like a couple frames because I'm shooting at 190 FPS and then we'll just see if, you know, I get a good shot. But I doubt it because like running this fast, no. All right, ah, good. So I did the shot with the uh, 50 millimeter running stuff and it's really hard to keep it steady. So I'm actually switched to a seven to 14 millimeter. So this time I should be able to run with her um, and we'll see if it looks good. But I just wanna get like the stationary, like for flip frame, frame blocking shot. So let's see if we can get it. Woo, you're good. 
All right, good. All right, so that time I decided to use the tree and then go down into the ground because I think if I can use the tree and then go down into the ground, then I can uh, hopefully blend those shots together. So yeah, we're getting some of these shots. Um, the big thing is like I'm shooting handheld, so there's gonna be a lot of shake, but when you shoot handheld, you get that really cool aesthetic, like you're actually running with them. And to be honest, I actually am. So um, we gotta figure out what kind of shots we're gonna blend together. So I think I'm gonna use these two trees as like my blocking point. So we're gonna run from here real quick. That's a big ass spider web. I didn't think I was gonna be sprinting this much. I brought my electric longboard for a reason and haven't used it yet. So we gotta find a couple more shots because I don't know how I'm gonna piece all this shit together. Damn. Look at this freaking shot. That's handheld, ladies and gentlemen. Full sprint. And a quick pan up. Oh my goodness. My like shoulder popped right when I was running around. Damn. A lot of the time when I'm out shooting, you just wanna shoot a ton. Like you really don't wanna shoot and like, I'd rather go home and say I have too much footage rather than going home and saying I don't have enough. All right, so now we're on this like pathway that extends over Ladybird Lake in Austin. And uh, I'm gonna get the drone up because I think I'm gonna have her run down this entire pathway and use the drone to track her sideways. Man, I'm just hoping we get all the shots, you know? Cause it's like, we're just going. We're not like planning out these things. Like we're out of light already. So now it's dark, so now we can get more running stuff. It's, it's, it's basically like a running thing. I just, do I have shoes? I have the shoe shots. Like, I don't remember how I was gonna close it. I literally have no idea. So, moral of the story, just film a ton of stuff. So then when you go home, you have a bunch of things to look at. Dude, freaking tired. You try running with this thing. Yeah, this is nice. How's it looking? <sighs> yeah, so. God, they are not going anywhere. They're literally rowing. That's what happens to floaters. Can you see that from there? Y'all, they are literally paddling forward and they're going backwards with this current. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. That's wild. Can you even see those bats on there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. Your first YouTube debut. Does it feel good? Yeah. A legend is born. A legend is born. A legend is born. All right, what shots have we missed? Um, all of them, actually. Okay, I believe that. All right, so you've never shot anything, right? Never. Never. So in my life. I gave him my camera, and I told him to tell my girlfriend to do anything and everything. Well, not anything. You're gonna shoot and get a shot. I'll set the focus for you and see what you get. So, what are you thinking right away? Um, I want a sprint, a sprint video. You want a sprint video? That means you have to actually run with her. Sprint by. Oh, okay. sprint by. Okay, okay, cool. All right. So I just want you to sprint. He just wants her to yeah. sprint, so he's gonna try to get this shot. Did you get it? Yeah. You get I, the shot? I, I think I wanna end on the skyline. I don't know. We just finished wrapping up. Um, I don't really know what else to add. Maybe I'll end up talking to you guys on the computer. And you are exactly right, Kyler. So. What I want to talk about real quick is the editing process and how I decided to put these clips together. Since I knew I was shooting a lot of this handheld, I knew a lot of the shots would be like this, where standalone, it doesn't look that good, but when you put it into a sequence, they actually blend together because a lot of that camera motion. And the key pro tip that I would give you is just try to transition clips that have similar motion. So like most of this is hard cutting. It is literally just going back and forth and cutting shot to shot because like the running is matching, the speed is matching, the type of shot since it was handheld is matching. And the only real transitions I did were like, I think two ground transitions where this is one shot and then I blend into another shot as you can see right here. And all I did was right click and add a cross dissolve. And then they blend together seamlessly in the final edit. It looks like the same shot, but it's actually not. And then, for example, these shots right here, where I'm transitioning into this tree shot, I overlaid it a little bit, and I added a screen onto it. 
And on top of that, I added one of my camera shake transitions from my ultimate effects pack. It's literally just a click and drag. And what it does is it will shake the camera around just like that to help blend your clips together. And I did this three times in a row so that it would actually look like the camera shaking and then it transitions into that next clip. So it looks pretty dope. And then right here, I actually decided to um, speed ramp when I am going up. So this was that handheld shot where I was tracking down and then tracking up. So I just simply added a speed ramp by right clicking on the FX button, go to time mapping and speed. And then I made my points, adjusted my speed and dragged these lines around. If you wanna know how to speed ramp, just watch some tutorials that I have online because there's a ton that go on to speed ramping. And then from there, I literally just would put clip to clip. It kind of ended up being really great because editing sequentially and where needed, I just added a camera shake transition. And in order to do a camera shake transition, if you don't want to pick up the ultimate effects pack, just apply the transform effect and make sure your shutter angle is set to around 200 and uncheck use composition shutter angle. And all you have to do is manipulate the position of this um, effect and the more you move it you'll see the more motion blur you will get in your shot just keyframe those however you like and then you'll get those transitions and then for the rest of the video I just clipped together the shots I slowed it down at some points and kept clipping it together and this is another example right here where I use the ground to blend the shots together um, this shot I just come down to the ground and I didn't even add a cross dissolve here it just happens so fast that these two clips you can't notice that blend and honestly, it is seamless. Right here, I did a masking transition where I have this clip that masked in front of another clip. And that is done by creating a mask on the opacity and actually clicking this toggle animation button and just keyframing the mask so as this object goes across the screen, so does your mask. And then I made my feather around 69, nice. And then from there, I just pretty much finished out the video. It's pretty simple to make a running highlight video. The key feature is to just get shots that you think you would use in your video. It was quite difficult because I didn't plan out anything, but just get the beginning shots, try cinematic, um, try to nail your focus, and just get as many shots as you can. It's really good to have a variety because when you do, then you can clip it all together in the editing. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please let me know down below. If you want more stylized video like this where you see some behind the scenes stuff, let me know because I will be doing that in the future. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. Let me know what you think down below. And if you're new, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.